Hello friends, welcome to Little Art Explorers. Now that you've tried the different marker techniques for a little bit, let's use them to make a cereal box. The first thing we have to do is figure out what kind of cereal we want to make. I really like strawberries, so I'm thinking I'm going to make a strawberry cereal. First, let's do this strawberry cereal. Them. Then we can do a downward curve with like a little slide at the end, then another curve. Now let's do a curve up over here, and another curve up on the other end. And we're going to make a zigzag to finish off the leaves. Now we have to make the strawberry, so we're gonna do like a happy face in the bottom, <laughs> like it curved up. Now we're gonna draw the seeds of the strawberry. I'm gonna color it with green on top. I can Contouring the top first and then filling it in. That's the way I like to color when I don't want to get out the lines too much. Then I'm going to use red. Because the seats are so little, I'm going to actually have to contour all of them in order to not color them red. <laughs> Now I'm going to do the box, I'm going to put a little bit of red, then I'm going to use my brush with water, spread out the color, activate it a little bit. colors you used and what kind of cereal you're making. Make sure you share it with me, I'd love to see it. Okay, so I'm gonna think of another color. Add yellow and then blend them together. orange Keep going going you'll notice that I grab a little bit of the red from the strawberry by mistake but that's okay Let's keep blending you can always add more water if you want to take away a little bit of the color Right now, the top of the box, contour a little bit in red, color it, then add water again. I'm gonna add orange now. Again, brush with water. Notice that I haven't really cleaned the brush much because the colors that I'm using are all light or complementary. Now I'm adding blue to the bottom to make the tablecloth. Then we add water to spread the color. You can use whatever color you want, of course. I'm using a light color because I want to add a darker color on top to Give it a little bit of texture or a pattern. All right. Make sure 
to test this before you do it because if you used a lot of water it may not work yet or it may spread a little bit so mine was dry enough that um, I could do it right away but you may need to wait a little bit or just check how it looks wet on wet right now I'm checking to make sure this isn't too wet because I want to show you something else dip the brush in water I'm going to put it on top of the drawing of the box and let's tap it get like little drops of water on the box it is I'm avoiding the strawberry I only want it in the box but you can do it wherever you want I'm gonna grab uh, my rag I'm gonna try to lift the color a little bit by drying out the water see? I don't know if you can see it in the video but it looks like little stars or something do you like it? Now we have to think of a name for our cereal. Are you gonna do O's or flakes or puffs? I think I'm gonna do flakes. Strawberry flakes sounds like a good option. Here you go. Again, be careful that your surface is not too wet because then um, your marker is gonna run a little bit. Okay, now we're done. We used a bunch of the techniques that we had learned before. And now we can do the background. Think about it. What's the person eating this cereal looking at? Are they in space? At the beach? Looking at their dog? Out the window? Just imagine whatever you want to finish up your picture. I hope you enjoyed doing this project with me. Please share it. I would love to see how it came out. See you next time. Bye-bye.